Now go back to the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Joining me from the Nigerian Stock Exchange to discuss business relations between India and Nigeria is the India High Commissioner to Nigeria, Mr. A.R. Ganassiam. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us. It's great to see you at the Stock Exchange today, and it's a good opportunity to talk about Nigeria-India business relations. And so your thoughts about one of the largest economies in Asia, the largest economy in Africa, can you just talk, give us a sense of the relations, business relations, and how that is evolving? Well, at the outset, I must say that Nigeria is India's largest trading partner in Africa. And in the opposite direction, India is the largest trading partner of Nigeria in the world. So the largest partners put together have managed to reach a level which is high up in the air. But then this potential that needs to be achieved is far higher than what actually we have till now achieved. There's a great deal that needs to be done and we hope to work together and the purpose of my coming to the stock exchange was to explore the possibility of how we can work together between stock exchanges and between industry on both sides of the border. All right, well, we look forward to that engagement, but you talked about the potential. So uh, your view, as I know um, in terms of exports into Nigeria, I know India uh, is doing a lot with respect to healthcare, with respect to software, but what else do you expect which could be coming this way from India and the other way around, beyond oil, what else could Nigeria be giving to India? Well, <clears throat> Nigeria should be able to give much more than what it is actually giving. I find it embarrassing to say that India is the largest exporter of rice to Nigeria. It should have been the other way around, my friend, because mm. Nigeria is an exporter of food grains and it has been an exporter of food grains in the past and a, and a fantastic one and there is scope for it to come back now. And we do hope that we will be able to work together. We are already working together in the area of agriculture. And there is one scope, which is, well, there is one uh, alternative, one field that in which we can really make a big difference to each other and not, not only feed ourselves, but also feed the world. And that's the area of agriculture. All right. What, what about the entertainment sector, things like um, Nollywood and Bollywood? Um, a lot said about how um, Bollywood is number two in the world after Hollywood. Nigeria is, is coming up there. So your take about the potential for even um, some collaboration there? Well, actually, the, one of the first things that I did after I came here was uh, the uh, uh, holding of an Indian film festival in Abuja. And I was amazed the kind of reception it got. And that was the 31st of March this year. And uh, the whole of Nigeria appreciated us for it. And the North and the South, both are complaining that uh, we had the festival only in Abuja and we didn't go to any other cities. Hopefully we are planning to move into other cities in Nigeria. But in addition to that, I am also in touch with your High Commissioner in Delhi to have a Nollywood Film Festival in Delhi and mm -hmm. in Bombay. So that, you know, the only way you can build relationship is to shake, meet together and shake hands. And I want the film personalities, the actors, the directors and the producers and the technicians to meet each other. Once you do that, the cooperation will just follow. Thank you. Absolutely. We look forward to that. But how concerned are you about um, the insecurity we're seeing in the north? Uh, it's the World Cup right now. So unfortunately, we've heard of attacks that have, are spoiling the fun of Nigerians. Um, the insurgency there is obviously a big concern for the authorities here. How concerned are you in India? We are deeply concerned, my friend, of what happens in this country because we have been in it together. We are also victims of terrorism in India and we understand and appreciate the problems that you are going through. And we are also working together with your government on this subject. And we hope that this will be a, an aberration in the history of Nigeria. It will finally find its logical end sooner than later. And once negotiations conclude and decisions are taken, it is necessary for both of us to sit together and see how we can work together to make sure that such things do not recur again. It's one right. thing to stop the problem now and it's another thing to make sure that the system is ready to s ensure that such things ha don't happen in the future. Thank you. All right, let's talk a bit about your visit to the NSC and I just want to get a, a, a more of a feel of you know, what we can expect. What will be the outcome of this visit? Can you just elaborate a bit on that? You know, when, when I was told that we are each other's largest trading partners, one of the first things that I wanted to know was how much are we investing in each other and how much are we operating in each other's stock exchanges. And I didn't find any exciting information about it. There are a lot of companies which are Indian or of Indian origin which can list themselves in the Nigerian stock exchange and they have not done so. 
and one thing is to entertain and cajole and and you know explore possibilities of these companies coming into the nigerian stock exchange and i am also looking at the future possibility of nigerian companies going into india i don't see why dangote cements cannot go to india they can also go to india and we are one of the top 10 in the world so the the operations and the advantages are both ways and, and I, i suppose there is scope for both us to come in here and you to come into india yeah, your, your excellency what in your view will be the low hanging fruit here in trying to increase this business relations between india and nigeria um, i imagine there could be some strategic strategic things that we can do um, oil obviously is a big thing for nigeria but what more can we expect in your view i think we should sit together and marry the two comparative advantages you have the most fertile land and we have people who have been growing and growing and growing food grains and we are one third of the size of america or china but then we export food grains and that is one thing which we can do together and the second thing that i would like to do is i don't want nigerians constantly going to india for medical treatment i want nigerian hospitals to be set up here by india to for nigeria i want nigerian doctors to come back from the united states to this country and work with our doctors here to set up hospitals in small towns and villages so that healthcare becomes important and there is enough money in it and there is no doubt about it it's it's no longer just an essential service to be extended by the government it is a service that needs to be given even at cost and even at profit if need be because it can be done and the similarly in the education sector we want we have 635 universities my friend with 35000 colleges but we still are short of them and we can't keep on taking students from all over the world to train them you need to help us set up shop here and that is what some of the universities are now planning to do in india in nigeria some of the hospitals are coming here to set up shops that i hope will reduce the number of passengers going to india and the number of doctors coming from india to this country and the patients are able to get the treatment done for much less today if a person wants to go to india he spends 2500 dollars for him and his attendant just by air fare we don't even have a direct flight which i am right now working on it's not worth and it is actually the treatment cost 50 dollars here we should work on it all right your your excellency quite a few interesting points you've highlighted there thank you so much for joining us we've been speaking to his excellency mr ar ganasiam the high commissioner of india to nigeria discussing nigeria india business relations